Hey, what's up everybody, Dr. Ray, and we are talking about Vion. I'm gonna walk through the software, show you how to use it, do a nice intro, and talk about what I like and dislike about the software. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar, Vion is an animation software. It's a great option for any kind of instructional designer, e-learning type person who wants to create animation, animated videos, basically. Um, it's a great alternative for instructional designers because a lot of times video is very expensive to create, but we have tools like Vion, and you can see this little sample here, just if you're not familiar with Vion. Vion is the world's number one video creator. Just turn down the volume so you can kind of see. But you can see like the animation here. This is what it does. It allows you to create cool animated short or long video clips um, that you can use in training, scenarios, advertising, really anything. It's a really cool piece of software and it's very simple to learn. So let's kind of go in and we're gonna talk about um, how to use Vion. First thing I wanna do though is I wanna talk about the price. So you can see here, um, they have you pick your plan. So you do have to pay and it is a fee. It's not like you just like, um, pay for Beyond and you have it. So it's not like a piece of software. It's all all done online. Development's online. So there's nothing to install on your computer, which is really cool. But there is a monthly fee. Um, for those of you who are, you know, starting out, the monthly fee is not terrible, um, but it can get pretty pricey pretty quick. So just to give you an idea, they start out with this essential, which is $49. The problem per month. The problem is that's monthly, so we can see the annual is much cheaper. So it goes down to twenty five a month, which is three hundred a month. So you, you can see the annual. You do get a discount, but the thing is, this essential is basically a bunch of BS, and I kind of call them out on it. You're paying fifty dollars a month, and they're going to put the Vion logo imprinted at the bottom left of each video, which I think is kind of crummy to do. I could see doing that for the free trial, but like. If you're paying $50 a month for a piece of software, there shouldn't be a watermark on it. So basically that no one's gonna ever buy Essential. There's basically no point to ever buying it because you would have their watermark on it. So you pretty much have to start out with $89 a month. So they might as well just get rid of this plan and just have the $89 plan, which is $650 a year um, or $89 a month. So basically you'd have to choose your plan. Now I'm gonna do this video on the trial version and I do actually have an account for Vion, um, but I don't know, the, I can't remember the login and password and it will take me, we're like off for the semester right now until semester. So I just signed up for the trial to do the video and I'll talk about some of the differences and like what the trial offers um, and stuff like that as I go through and do this video. There's really no difference as far as like functionality so I can still go through everything, but it's actually great because you're gonna get to see what the trial version looks like, which I think is interesting. So you log in and I just created a few um, like videos just for fun, just so I could go through and do this video with you guys. So we're gonna go through and I'll show you each one. So you, to click on your videos, I'm just gonna click this edit video. If I click on this right here, it's gonna actually play the video itself. Um, but let's click, so let me actually show you the video first. Let's start there. I'll show you what it looks like. It's just a really quick two second thing, just for an example. Hello everyone. Hello, I'm recording and testing. I have no sound for this part. That's it. So as I go through, so let me point out a few things here because then I'm gonna show you how to develop it that you see. So I created this guy, I gave him the unhappy face. Um, so first thing, two things to pay attention to when this video starts. The first thing, pay attention to the huge watermark that's here when you have the trial version. And secondly, pay attention to his voice because it's, it's text to voice. So they do have a text to voice software, but it's very robotic. So listen to his voice. Hello, everyone. Did you hear that? Hello, everyone. Then in this screen, I actually recorded my voice. Hello, I'm recording and testing. Okay. I just wanted to show you all that. All right, now just to point that out as we go through and take a look at the software for editing. All right, so what we're doing is we're gonna go in and we're gonna actually edit or create a video. I'm gonna kind of walk through all the features um, and show you how to do it. For those of you who are used to working with timelines, this is very similar to any video software, uh, Macromedia, Adobe stuff that you've worked with. 
that has um, timelines in it. So it's very similar to timelines. You can see the seconds here and then each of your basically frames and what you want to have on it. I can pull this up a little bit here just so you can see everything. Like you've got sound, music and stuff like that and everything playing in the background. Really simple, right? So let's kind of go like left to right up on the screen here as I walk through and kind of show you how to use everything. It's really simple. There's not a lot of options. And in some ways there are, but there's a lot of things you can do with it, if that makes sense. So I'll kind of walk you through what that, what I actually mean when I do that. So the first thing I can give it a title. You can see, I, I just created this as a sample, like office goofs, how to prank your office mates. Like you're not really doing that. I was thinking like of the office. Cause I thought the guy, it reminded me of like the office TV show and office pranks. And everyone says, I remind them of Michael Scott for some odd reason, like, all the time. I even have a Dundee award. So if you watch the office. So anyway, I thought that was kind of funny. So I named this office goofs how to prank your office mates. I don't know why. Um, anyway, so you click on the left here, you have your media library. And these are basically like things that you've uploaded. These are just my videos I've created. But like if I had other video, like real videos or sound or stuff, it would all be up here in the media library. This allows me to create new scenes. Each one of these things right here is considered a scene. So like if I create a new one, um, when I push the button, what it does is it gives me all these options. So what the cool thing about this software, you can customize what like your backgrounds are gonna be, but they give you a lot. And this is one really nice thing about the software is they actually do, um, give you tons and tons of options, which is kind of cool. So like, for example, I'll just click, uh, let's see, what do I want to pick? Let's pick something kind of fun. So, oh, pirate. That's awesome. So we're clicking pirate. And I realize most of you watching this, you're like, well, I'm not going to do anything with pirates. But you know what? Pirates is more fun than like office or HR. HR sounded really boring. So let's click pirates because pirates is pretty cool. And basically you can put these up on the screen and you can kind of scroll over the mouse and see what it's going to look like. And here's what's neat. So let me go back here. You can see that I had like business friendly. They also label things like whiteboard animation and contemporary. So if I click whiteboard animation, that's where we start to get into like, you see all that last scene, which was like the drawing, like, you know, those like drawing animations you see on YouTube, they're done in software like this. You can do a whole customizable one in this piece of software. Like I click catering, it gives me a bunch of options for catering or finance gives me a bunch of options for finance and basically someone will draw the you can see the, the little preview of the drawing up on the screen so that's kind of cool and then you've got contemporary options but they give you lots and lots of options and then you can actually pick like let's say you pick one of these so let's do it let's just pick one of these let's pick well, we don't want to pick pirates because you're not gonna that, that's like so unrelated let's just pick insurance let's pick all right, so what we're going to do, we're going to add a new scene and we're going to put the insurance thing on there. So let me click add scene. Um, let's add a blank scene right now and let's add the auto insurance there. All right, so we've got the auto insurance, right? So here's our auto insurance guy. We can preview what it's going to look like because um, we've got some speech and stuff. So let's preview this, this auto insurance that we just put up on the screen. So it's doing nothing. There's no actual sound. The guy, it's like someone just talking. Exit preview. So that's what it's going to do. We saw what it was going to do. And now we need to decide what we want to do. So first of all, do we like this character or do we want another character? So we can change out the character, or add more. And you can see I can, again, like click like all these different options. I could even make like if I want to draw a character, I can make a drawn character on here. So you have options, especially like when you're doing the animation draw thing, like you can really customize it to what you want to look like. So if we want to pick a character, we can simply Simply pick a character. I just click on someone. Oh, I double clicked and picked too many. So let's just delete this person. I'm going to right click and simply delete that person. So now we have a character up on the screen. We can ch change and customize any of this stuff. I can add more, add less. You can go through like there are props, so many different things to go through like, you know, hand gestures. Let's just put one up on the screen. Let's put a big thumbs down. That'll be kind of fun. It'll make no sense, but it'll be cool anyway. We're going to put a hand gesture on the screen. Um, let's go back. We can put other stuff. Oh, more hand. Oh, spider. 
or an ant. So we're going to put an ant on the screen too, just to have some stuff up on the screen. Uh, but I'll kind of show you some of the stuff you can do. So that's like going through. So this is like their like, you know, all the stuff we can add, which is kind of cool. We also have charts. You can see like I added a little chart in this screen, like the 98%. We can add all kinds of different charts that they have options for, which is cool. We can add all kinds of different text whether you want a drawn or whether you want a, re a regular title, all kinds of options. We can add audio if we want to add audio. So like to add audio, I'll click play. Like, these are obviously like freeware audios that you can play. You simply add them. One of the things about the people that's kind of weird, let me add a uh, audio clip. So when you add the audio clip, notice that it's, uh, look down here at the bottom of the screen, and I did, oh, I always add two of everything, so I'm so used to clicking multiple times. Um, let me actually move it right here so it's with the other audio. Um, you can see that it's really, really, really long. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select right here at the end of my frame, and I'm just going to right click and select split, and then I'll delete this part. And I can actually move this to make it so that it's perfect. That way my audio will only play on the scene that I'm on. Now keep in mind, they also have sound effects where you can add all kinds of sound effects, same kind of thing. But we now have March of the Little People that's going to be playing right here. And then we can upload our own stuff. All right, so now that we put our character on the screen, we can select our character. And this is where we can like do a bunch of stuff. Like whenever you select something, you can see like the options on the right here all change based on what you've selected. So like when I select a character, there's some cool stuff I can do. One is I can change their action. It's like, what do I want them to be doing? Well, this is kind of cool. We can make her dance. That's kind of, or is that fighting? I can't tell if that's fighting or dancing. Maybe this is dancing. No, that looks like Karate Kid Kick. Let's do Karate Kid Kick. Let me preview it. Oh, stamping feet. Darn, I thought that was Karate Kid Kick. Well, let's just pretend it's Karate Kid Kick because I kind of like that. I think that's kind of cool. We can change their facial expression. So we can change the direction or the action and we can have them do like all kinds of different cool things. According to the action, I can kind of like change Face camera. All right, so we've changed her facial expression. And then what I can do is I can actually add dialogue for her. So I can add dialogue. When I click add dialogue, if I do a mic recording, it's not gonna, like her mouth isn't gonna match up too well to what I'm doing, like, or if I upload audio, but you can absolutely do that. And I actually recommend that you do do that. Um, or you can use text to speech, like, I am sad because, and, office mate pranked me because this is about office pranks right um we can pick the person that we want to use you know they, they give you a bunch of voices to try let's use female and nancy let's hear it generated it i am sad because an office mate pranked me so that's not a bad text of voice. So you kind of have to play around with the text of voice and see like, and you can see it added here. So some of them are really good. Some of them aren't too great. Um, so you kind of got to play around with them and see what one you actually like. Um, but you can see like how you can like really maneuver this software to get it to do stuff. All right. So that's, that's the left-hand side of the menu. Super easy. We can upload our own stuff or we can take all of theirs. Super easy. We get over here. So right here we have an undo and redo button. So basically I can undo, but also like they do recognize like shortcuts. Like you can see like control Z is undo, which is what I've been pressing. Um, this is paste, arrange, clear, and delete, which you can see I've been like right clicking and using some of those options. So that's kind of where that is. At the top of the screen, so we have our video settings right here. So this is where I would like change the, the volume, some start duration. Now I can't use this, but basically all this is is changing the aspect ratio. So like one of the things you need to know when you're gonna publish any kind of video is the what, like, are they publishing it in 1080? Is it like 16 by nine? Or like, what is the what is the ratio? So you need to know that. So this is where you would change that right here. So you have to have the full version to do that, but that's where you would do it. This is simply just the preview where you can preview from here or from start, save. This is share. So this is kind of um, 
Well, we're going to get back into editing this video in a second, but I'm just still showing you some stuff. The, the odd thing about the share so that, that I didn't like about this piece of software is that so if I want to share it, I can't give anyone access without upgrading, which, you know, they have that huge white mark on it. It's only a two week trial. But like if I want to use this in a class, it becomes very difficult for my students to share what they've created as a sample, which is not great for the software because then my students don't know how to use it. Um, but you have to upgrade to even create a link to share so no one can see it. And obviously a workaround for that, which this is why this doesn't make any sense. Is I can simply record it in a software like Screencast-O-Matic or Jing or whatever and simply screen capture what I've created and just send that to whoever. So the fact that they don't enable the link, I feel like they should because it allows someone like me in a classroom with a trial version to get my students to use this software. Because otherwise we're just not going to use it. Um, and also, you know, when you have the full version, you can download. You can download in 720 or 1080 or as an animated GIF, which I wouldn't do that. But I would download as a full video, most likely in 720p if you're uploading it to something like YouTube or uh, putting it in like a small video frame. If you're trying to play a full screen on large monitors like the one I'm currently using, I use 24-inch monitors at home because they're like the right size for gaming, I would put it in 1080p. So you can see those are your options. All right, so that's like main options up here on the left all right then we get over here on the left and again we have some more options for certain things that we can do um we've got so these are more like scene options so if you can see we have our scene settings here which basically there's not many scene settings but i didn't like how they have video settings and scene settings like i feel like when i push settings it should say video and then like a tab for scene kind of like all in one place because otherwise like it can confuse someone right away like that's a good like, you know, human computer interaction thing, like multiple scenes. We have the camera here where we can add a camera. Basically what you do when you add a camera is it allows you to like zoom in on a part of the screen if you wanted to do something like that. You can play around with that. Um, we have a scene transition and then we have backgrounds. So that's kind of all the features. Let me go ahead and play the video so that you can see the scene that we just created to see how it did everything. I am sad because an office made break me. So there's a lot of stuff happening. So you can see that because I put the drawing on, the hand got drawn really quick. And I can like change the times of that stuff by just like, you know, moving this if I want to. Like, here's the, the dislike gesture. Like I can move how long or short that takes. Um, we have a lot of stuff going on. She's stamping her feet. You can see she's crying and stamping her feet about the mouse. This person's like typing really quick. There's a lot of stuff going on. Let's watch it again. I am sad because an office made prank me. <laughs> So you can see this is just a quick example, but just how cool and like simple that was to like create something. Like kind of neat. All right, so we played the scene. You've got to see what it looks like. So that's basically Vion. It's a really simple piece of software, really powerful. I think a little on the pricier end for users, especially like students and stuff. Not pricey for corporate whatsoever. I think it's actually a pretty good price. You know, you pay for the month, you get what you want. You can download, send your clients their videos. Now, however, they won't be able to edit without um, having an account of themselves or paying, you know, paying for the, to be able to edit and download. But it's a really cool piece of software. Um, I really think the only drawbacks are in like the trial and stuff. Not really, those are just complaints because like I can't use it with my classes. Those aren't like complaints from a commercial standpoint. And, you know, we do use this software with clients and we don't have any issues. They really enjoy it. Um, I do think that the text to speech is not good, but that's a technology that's improving. I think being able to use your own voice is much better. Um, but I really like the animation, the characters. It's simple to use. It doesn't take too long to create a video. So those are my thoughts. You know, in the comments, let me know what you think about this piece of software. All right, later, everybody.